Hello, hello! We are coming back to Road 96, where we have finished one uh, storyline where we, uh, we basically went along the voting storyline to try and get that completed. Now, last time around, we did complete Zoe's ending, I guess, where uh, she showed up at the end and helped us out. So we're going to go ahead and give this another adventure where we start a brand new save. Now, last time we tried to push people to vote. We tried to push the country to voting as much as possible to try and overturn uh, President Tyrak. Now, this time, I think we're going to go through and in spirit of how sick and fucking tired we are of American politics, I'm just not gonna give a fuck and say, hey, yeah, let, let's just screw it all and bolt on our way out. So with that, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on. Sonia is starting us off, of course, with the news report. That's right. If you don't remember, there you go. Triggering its peak to collapse. The peak that had explosives rigged to it, by the way. I know it sounds like a conspiracy thing, but no. Like In the last game, we... We totally found our way up there and saw explosives still strapped up there from the last time. All right, Big John. Oh, of course, Zoe. Now, there are still some character storylines that we have not completed, so hopefully this time around we'll get some of those done. That's right, and last time we saved Sonya, too. Or, well, I guess the storyline ended in Sonya getting saved. But her storyline isn't completed. Neither is Jared's or Stan and Mitch's. Even though they did stop one of uh, an, an attempted assassination of Sonya. We also got Alex, Fanny, and John. So Zoe's is the only one that's completed. We still have all these other storylines to do. Now, it looks like we are going to probably have six chapters as we're going through. We have over 1,800 miles to go to the border. On June 12th, 1996. That's where we're starting off. At a motel this time. Okay, starting at a motel... Uh, oh, a taxi. This is a Jared episode. Oh, boy. Better be good to me. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, I can also rest for free here, because there's that. I have $8 to my name, and... Oh, wow, I don't have a lot of energy. Um, okay, you know what? Let me... I'm just going to go ahead and... Okay, so that sparks revolution... Missing teens. Five, 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 five. So yeah, vandalizing uh, Flora's toaster poster sparks revolution. Oh, no, can't go over that. I guess let's run around the front of this place. Yeah, I don't want to do more of them then. If you have information regarding the Brigade Radio Transmitter, 96112. Alright, before I head over there, I just want to walk around the town and see if... Oh! Like this? Check the trash... Nothing. That yeah, was worth looking at. Nothing else over here. Okay. Uh, what about one of these? What's that one do? Okay, that influences the vote. All right, so since I did the two of them, that should kind of balance out. We are still super early while we're fig figuring out what action is going to change what Hello, outcomes. I'm Steve, owner of the Paradise Motel, where just one night will forever change your life. Just room, right. Uh, steel door key, but he, he's right in front of me. A rumor started by our rival, Supreme Motel. They're just jealous of our jacuzzi. 
Ooh, jacuzzi. Alright, so there's a room key there, but like... Oh yeah, I see Jared in the blinds there. There is a phone booth here. Oh, he's got plants in here too. Okay. But, I, like, I don't want to steal the room key when it's right... Oh! Wow, the phone booth is shot. Okay, that's a thing. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, no. What, what's this? Ooh, pick lock. Yes, please. Let's see. Uh, oh. Okay, let's go ahead and hack this. Ah, yes. Money, please. And what's this one? Ooh, credit card. Okay. Is there even an ATM here? Oh, and car key. Nice. So that means we, uh, we're going to hijack a car on our way out of here. That's going to be our ride out. Uh, nope, can't go in there. Nothing else over here. Except posters to vandalize, which I'm not going to worry about vandalizing posters this time around. You got it? Uh, is he, like, not paying attention? Okay, you know what? I did find money. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna bu I'm gonna go ahead and pay for the room because he he's not calling the cops on me. He's also I don't see any way to get him out of there for me to actually take the room key. So I'm not gonna try and I'm not gonna try my luck and steal from him because I did find his money in the safe. So I'm like you know what it's not even my money to begin with. All right, June 13th. Oh, it, excuse the ever-living daylights out of you. What are you talking about? I, hey, I paid for this room. What do you mean it's not? What do you mean it's not my room? Um, dude? Like, who are you? And what? Oh, yeah, his his tape there. Okay. Um, does the bathroom have anything for me? No? Okay, so I guess all we can do is talk to him. Um, okay, I'm going to be calm with him and tell him I'm not comfortable. I find it cozy in here. Just you and me. Together. Uh, I'm just a teenage girl, dude. Uh... What do you want? I just need your help with a little problem. Uh oh, could be a cop. They're patrolling hotels looking for missing teens. Teens like you. Uh, I'm I'm not missing. Not yet. Anyway. Not yet. Oh shit. Uh, okay, here we go. Into the closet. Oh, great, it's somebody he knows. Oh, shit. That must have been a black brigade. You had me hide in a closet with a corpse. Dude, you are Walked. He uh, talks too much. Uh, okay, I'm not. He, this guy's unhinged. I'm not gonna call him crazy. You know what? Yeah, I can. I can respect that. She's a bitch. 
Let's give our little friend here a nice hot bath. He could use some cleaning up, don't you think? Uh, no, not really. I see what you mean. There's also bugs all over this hotel room. What's up, dude? Uh, sure. I can get some. So, can I just bolt? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'm out of here. So when he said hot bath, uh, he meant... He meant fiery. Is there anything else I can... Oh. Watch your back, Sonia. Nothing else on it. Did I hear knocking? Uh, you want me in the closet again? Open the door. Okay. Like, I paid for a room. What is going on here? Is Jared here? Uh, he stepped out. Oh, he's filling it with water, you know. Okay, then. Just so, chill stuff. There's nothing I can help Jared with. Do I throw him under the bus? Do I throw him under the bus? Oh, he's got his gun out. Uh, nope. Nothing else. Jared's reception is pretty great. Yeah. He's fine. He does not need help. He does not need you to come in here. Okay, he is picking up. You can leave. Uh, can I leave now? Yeah. Here. For helping me with my little problem. Uh, sure. Thanks, Jared. Oh! You know what? That, that, that's actually no nice of him. Hopefully I don't see you out on the road. Bye! Uh, oh my gosh. I, I could totally use a soda after that. That, that was freaking stressful. Freaking Jared, man. Well, you know what? We got a car. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this and get on out of here. Seriously, though, how did he get in the room that I paid for? I... You saw, you guys saw, right? I paid for the freaking room. What was he doing in there? With it? And how did he get the body in there while I was sleeping? It was my room. I paid for the room. Freaking hotel sh shady hotel dealer double booking his room like that? What the hell? And yes, yes, I am legitimately mad about that. Like shit, dude, you don't, you don't do that shit when you got, when you got paying customer. Uh, at least I got an easy car out of it, which thanks thanks to the uh, the first playthrough, the first run, I did get those unlockables, like all the little upgrade perks and tools and stuff. So I will be able to breeze through some things while we try and clear the storylines.
Oh, let's see. Oh! Three buck, three dollar coin. Oh boy. Sure. Flores is the violent one. Ugh, freaking politicians. Whoa! Oh, damn it, Sonya. What? Oh. I almost hit you. You almost had a second crash. You know what? Sure. Sure, I can help. Is Adam all right? Oh my gosh, she is so insufferable. And she's the number one TV personality in the country. Did you? Uh, it's nice to meet you. It's an honor to meet you too. Uh, did you know there's a, a a burger back here? I'm gonna put it next to you. Try not to eat my fingers, okay? Sorry. I will get the energy though. Uh, yeah, I was hungry, bitch. Ask me a question, huh? I know you're burning too. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'd love to ask something. Let's see. You know any... Oh, yeah, you know. Uh, ooh, okay. Okay, the vote in the revolution. Yeah, we don't want either of those options. We want the we want the effort option. Hmm, I'm gonna stick with flattering her, just because it, it seems the most pragmatic thing. I should focus on being pragmatic and getting uh getting on people's good sides. What you got in mind? All right, sure. Man, stations are just not coming in here. Jesus, kid. I'm sorry, this thing doesn't have a tape deck. Otherwise, I'd definitely put something better on. If you say so. Woo! Yeah! She is not exactly a safe person. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, she is, uh, she's a little on the wild side. Oh, wow, the camera really had to get right up her butt. Oh, shit. You kidding me? What the hell, Sonya? Weren't we supposed to be looking for a phone? 
Did you break anything? Uh, that doesn't seem healthy. Yeah, you're a little unhinged. Like, seriously. Uh, yeah, I stole it. She's definitely a doesn't give a shit kind of person. Oh. Reminds you of what? Oh, sin better reminds her of Stan and Mitch. Well, on my past, I haven't been so kind to the ones I love lately. Or to anybody else in the entire country, right? It is sometimes, but I'm not sure that's an excuse. But oh my gosh, that. she's actually being human? We, we, these are this is right here in the beginning right here in the beginning of the game she's having a genuine moment of humanity uh hmm help me out with some gas money maybe ah oh, no such luck you know that's fine and I mean it's, it's not like it went out of our way either Yeah, thanks, Sonya. You you have a you have a good life out there. See ya. We're just gonna ditch her at the phone booth. Hopefully she doesn't end up. I, I guess if she's calling a cab, hopefully she doesn't end up in Jared's cab, or uh, she's not gonna be seen anymore. All right, 786 miles to go. When our car breaks down, where's it dropping us off at? But that, that was actually kind of cool. This early on, seeing a genuine moment of humanity and respect from from Sonya, where she... We did find out in the last playthrough that Stan and Mitch are her brothers. They're not just two dumb goofballs. They're actually siblings. Smells like teen spirit. Oh, okay. It's this objective again. All right. So we, we're going to go ahead and check this place out. Uh, Let's see. You know, since we're on a more, like, loner, screw it kind of mission, we'll probably just kind of... Oh, you know what? Five, five, five. So, 96112. Well, I don't, I don't. I guess I don't have any information for that. But maybe 555. Five, five, five. If I pick up a phone, I might be able to call, like, for the teens thing. Just to see, like, what kind of effect that has. <gasps> oh, you have a kitty cat! You're gonna vote, right? Uh, no point in it. You're wrong about that, kid. Voting leads to change. And change is what we need. That's Zoe on her trumpet. Careful with that one. She's trouble. Uh, I can hear that. Oh, it's a cute kitty, petty kitty. Okay. All right, Zoe's over there. Look, just give me the money and I won't call the cops. A guy got stabbed here two days ago and they never came. The cops aren't going to show for this. All right, let's see. 4166. Yeah, 4166 is the security code. All right. Well, I guess we have to interact with this situation. Just admit you stole from me, and I didn't do it. Yo, uh, what's going on here? Stole money from my office and tried to pay our rent with it. I don't need your money, man. You got proof? Criminal mastermind. I don't need the hassle. I'm out of here. You didn't have to do that, you know. I was handling it. 
Didn't seem like it. That bad, huh? Oh, man, it's the worst, really. Go there to the office. But the owner won't be happy to see you. Yeah, that figures. Yeah, see you around, I guess. Hey, don't become roadkill out there, okay? Yeah, I hear you. Check the trash can, see if we got any good stuff here. Nope, no free food, no money. That's that one. I wanna check out oh, um Yo, I'm new here. Welcome to Paradise. You got any money? Nah, dude. Well, uh, hope you reach the border. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigade. Oh. This is your papa baby here. With the upcoming fraud of an election, more and more countries are calling for the resignation of Tyron. I mean, Tyrak. But will we step down? Of course not. Which is why, dear listeners, we must... Uh, oh, you know, I could do the code, or I could just hack it. Yeah, let's just hack the door. Get now, on in here. here's a tune from a fresh new band. Remember... Okay. So we got in here, hacked our way into the door, broke in, got the money. Alright. Nothing else to do here. There's just the dancing dude in the back. I'm not gonna pay for uh for a room with him. I'm keeping the money for myself. This is my run. Just gonna snooze out here under the stars. Not as restful or as nice as the as the hotel room, which I mean it was a bug infested hotel room. Hey, 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 wake up. Oh, do I have to, Zoe? Uh, I guess so. Up here. Come here. Sit with me. Marshmallows, do you? Sorry. Marshmallows, no. Anyway, it's nice to have someone normal around here. I got some money, but no places, nobody seems to be selling them. I left home at the start of the summer. I wanted to get out of Petria, like you, I think. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. You see in the border? Oh, okay. It's scary there. With all the security, I traveled there with my father for his work. What's on the other side? I, I don't know. But it's got to be better than this, no? You ever scared? Sometimes, yeah. But what scares me the most is going back to my old life. But enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? Yeah, sure, I guess. That's pretty much the only way to advance this. I used to play this all the time. You know. Come on. Don't be scared. Give me a shot. The controls for this are so janky. Controls are so janky. Now let's see if I can. I should be recording this. <laughs> okay, faster. Down up. <laughs> My stomach hurts. 
I am so glad it doesn't score you on this because the controls are so jank. Like, it slides way too far each time. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh man, that was great. I think he is this time, but don't sweat it. I was gonna leave anyway, but I'm just sorry for you. At the road together? But I think I need to travel on my own. It's important to me, you know? Yeah, it makes sense. It's like we have to do this on our own. To become adults or something. Well, I guess that's one way to look at it. If, if like, this is supposed to be the, uh, the kind of maturity that we expect. Alex the Hacker? Dude's got his own cassette tape? Uh, hmm. Do I leave on foot, or... Eh, I'll hitch a ride. I'll figure out how to hitch a ride here. Okay. see what event we get next. Alex is the one that we are the lowest on for our story progress. Maybe we get some stuff with Alex. Figure out like what we can influence here as we just say, fuck it. Hopefully, this, maybe this will be a nice short event and we can go ahead and just blast through and... Alright, nothing's gonna stop us now. Oh, it's a Stan and Mitch episode. Wait, are these the guys I hitched a ride with? Kid, up here, up here. Yep, I did. Yeah, I won't get sick. Don't worry. Really is a great motto you have. Yep, yeah, I know, on account of the wind. The bag. Oh, it's supposed to trickle down to the poor. Keywords being supposed to... Ha, yes, yeah, supposed to trickle down. Ah. Is that money sticking out of the bag? No, oh, now he hears me. Oh, can I take a bill or two? Oh, sweet. 20 bucks. That was, that was actually nice of them. Uh, yeah, I've heard you guys. I met you guys in a past life. In fact, I met you in several past lives. Uh, let's see. They got a lot of cops out there on the road. Don't 
bummer. I really need to cross. There we go. Oh. Oh no, police! Get a little closer. Come on. There we go. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of there. Get out. Keep him behind me. Keep him behind me. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Jeez, how much money do we have to throw? Like, shouldn't we be running out eventually? Come on. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was pretty sure I was late nailing him. What? Uh, okay, hmm. You know what? I've got a government ID. Can you look the other way? Holy shit, that worked! I just got them off the hook. <laughs> okay, that, that, like, what? I did not expect that outcome. Like, what? What the legitimate flying fuck nugget? Like, I just asked him, hey, can you look the other way? He's like, oh, yeah, sure. And then, boom, they're gone. And I'm like, wait, what? That worked? Seriously, it was that easy? There's no way a government ID, like makes it that easy. All right, walking in my shoes. Oh boy, okay, what a... Can you hear me? It's a bug messing with the connection. Oh. But don't worry. Pretty oh, Alex. Help me a sec, homegirl? I've got a bug I need to fix. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. What you need? Ah, what do I do? I put a metal detector on it. Check the ground near the pole over there. Should be some hidden keys to open the box and reboot the line. Catch sure your calm hides their keys like a dog hides a bone. There we go. Rusty can. Nope. Found something. Oh, money. Let the beeping guide you. See something over here? Key. All right. Got the button. All right, let's see what we got. We're doing what we can, Mr. Yu. Thanks, yo. You hear me now? So, as I was gonna say, the fake emitters are all in place. Should keep those pigs busy for a while. 
fake emitters. Oh, you were working for the brigades? Oh, dude. Oh, man. Sorry, kid. Yo, your bag. You okay, dude? Hey, keep going, dude. My mom and my adopted mom said I might not find out anything, but I didn't believe her. Yeah, she does, but that's really all she knows. I guess she does have to be kept busy with work. I'm not able to, like, make a call up here. I used to call every week. Really? Yeah. Mm, I see. I mean, I didn't say that. That... That's your call. He's the one who said it, so obviously he's the one who wants to. Precinct 22, Officer Fanny. Hello? Alex? Officer. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Is everything okay? What do I say? Everything's fine. I just wanted to... Just say it, yeah, everything's fine. Are you getting enough to eat? You are, right? You can come back whenever you want. You know that. Yeah, I'm getting enough to eat. Thanks. This is just I, a reassurance call kind of thing. I hope you find what you're looking for. I miss you, Alex. And how are you? Oh, hang it in there. You know me. Get a little, you know, reciprocal communication going. Oh, already? I'll call again soon. I promise. I love you. I know I said I was going to be taking a very screw it attitude with this run, but I mean, their family relationship, it, it, it matters. I feel better now. Thanks for encouraging me to call. Yeah, dude. Eh, if he gets me across, I don't mind. Maybe dead in the trunk. Oh, well, thanks. I'll take you up on that. I think I'll just keep walking. Appreciate it. Later, kid. Alright, just gonna go ahead and leave along the road. Um, I'm still on the fence, like, about trying to call for the tips on the radio and stuff. Because I did just overhear something about the transmitters. I wonder if that is something I can report and what effect it would have on the overall storyline.
and if I'll be able to uh, to make use of it. All right, next up. Oh, we got Suspicious Minds. Oh, it's another uh, another motel storyline. Oh, and that bike. I think it's Stan and Mitch. Reception thing there. Okay. Oh, there's a police car here. Notice? This room is under renovation. Okay, yeah, it's kind of full of junk. Torres. Oh. Nothing in the bathroom. I guess let's check out the reception up here. Can I help you? Oh no, she's back. Wait, who? Just that tool, okay? Who's back? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, that voice. Oh, uh, what's up? I'll explain everything in my room. Oh, geez. I, I didn't even get to finish checking out the hotel. Almost ready. Yo, what's going on? Oh. I think so. Oh, okay, so you want me to ask the guests? Yeah. The guests here don't talk to cops. Truth is, I think some of them are brigades. And what if they are? At the very least, they're aiding and abetting terrorists. I guess I'll help. Everything you need is on the wall. Take it. Here's how it's gonna work. Those are sketches of the perp we think is moving the transmitter. Talk to the guests and scribble out the ones that don't. Oh, John is on here. Oh, snap. Got it? Got any more questions before we begin? Anything at all? Uh, do you happen to get along with the other cops? Most of the time. Are there bad cops? Just like any other profession. You got your good apples, well, you got your bad ones. I mean, that is fair. Do some accept bribes? Sure don't. Okay, let's get going. Oh, sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't even have to find a key. I'll just go ahead and pick the lock, get in here. Some of these other people look a little familiar, too. Oh, car key. Yes, please. Documents. Oh, dip. Uh, I'll go ahead and enjoy some food, free food. A little extra cash, and what's this? My dearest Beth, if you're reading this, I've gone missing and you have found my little secret room. Be careful, B. A strange chain-smoking man has been following me and he's most likely the reason I've disappeared. I do not know what this man wants, but I believe him to be very dangerous. Do not let him see this room. Oh, shit.
Alright, so I guess we just start knocking on doors. See what we got. Nope. No answer. Uh, this one? Oh. She's, uh... Oh, really now? Yeah, with short hair, large hands, strong hands. You don't have his number, do you? No, I don't. Let's see. So, short hair, that narrows it down. I'll be here tomorrow. To find oh, snap. I don't have the salad. I don't know. I was. Oh yeah. I tried avoiding him. He frightened me. He was the same age as me, and I don't consider myself old. You don't think I'm old, do you? And you know what? Yeah, you kind of are. So adult. That kind of narrows it down. Sure thing, dude. Go whoever. Nobody here. Knock. Are you a are you a dealer? Nah. Kinda get his trust at least first. Squarish face, okay. Does it help? Yeah, it does. Uh, square face. Oh wow, that really narrows it down. All right. Uh, no. Oh, it's vacant. Why am I even knocking on it? There's a sign on the door that says vacant. Just start on over here. Hey, what? Never have done this. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Nobody there. I'll get to you in a minute, sir. No, nobody there. I know everyone around here. I don't know you. Were you here on Sunday? This palace is my home. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess nobody really talks to him. Okay. Beard. My dad? Well, uh, not my dad, but thanks. Okay, vacant. This one doesn't say vacant. Uh, I don't know Sheila. I'm positive. I, I don't know any Sheila. Uh, I imagine the rest of these probably don't know anything. Oh, hey, kid. It's road, uh, road control? Oh, uh, yeah. That, that makes sense. You would be wary of them. No reason. I don't know. Well, I already narrowed it down, so. Figure out what all's going on here. Okay, it says vacant, but, like, there's noise coming from in there.
There was noise coming from in there. All right, what about the reception hall? Oh, they're gone. Mm, register. No phone over here. Okay, I think I've pretty much covered everything here. Oh. Hi. Can I help you? Hey, I know what you're doing. You do? Are you sure you want to do this? Maybe you shouldn't get involved. These people aren't as bad as they say. Wait. She's on this list. No, but I know who does. Don't do this, please. I'll do your results. She'll never know. Uh. Okay, do I? I think I'm gonna keep the results on this one. You don't know what you're doing, kid. She came over just to intercept me. Get in here, quick. Let me. Great work, kid. Okay, we got... What'll happen to him? And there's a Stan and Mitch poster up there, too. Sorry. So, how is your oh, shit. And he's here now. That was an important call. Uh, yeah, he's he's long gone. Uh, truck pulled in and left. Oh wow. Uh, no, I don't think so. Sure. Thanks, Fanny. Take care of yourself, okay? 30 bucks. Hopefully that can help get me across the border. With that, we are good to go. Yo, I saw you in the truck. Uh... You know what? $25 sleep or $50? Oh, wow. You know what? Yeah, I'm good. I don't, I, I'm at full energy. I don't need to... I don't need to stay in a... I don't need a room for the night. Let's just go ahead and hijack the car and get on out of here. Second... Second GTA... For this go-around...
So, so far, we, so we've given Fanny information about the brigade and helped them a little bit. Not nearly as big a reward as they promised, though. Like, I, it was only a $30 reward instead of, a, like, a $2,500. Then again, that was just what Fanny had on hand. So this is probably going to be the last event. Uh, oh, oh, the passenger. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this is awkward. Oh, man. All right, so the last time I had to solve this, it was all the way over there. So what if I go maybe south, south, west? Okay. South or, okay, south, west, north, and north. Go for it. I do remember this one. That's why I'm trying to go for that one over there. Hopefully that phone is the thing. Uh, to my grandma's. Oh, sweet. A little bit of cash. There's a Flora's poster up here. So, uh... Why do you ask? Leave this dumpster of a country. Yeah. You gotta eat, drink, and get your rest, kid. Can't stop the basics just because you're on an adventure. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I've done pretty good. 150 bucks and full energy. All right, next. We're there, so we basically just have to go east and validate. That one direction should do it. As long as that... What do you have inside? Really? Hauling something illegal? Yeah, that's that's smart. Seriously? So no matter what. There is only one other phone booth, so we gotta go south, south, uh, let's see, south, east. Yeah, we can only put in four, four directional changes each time. You know, you make me kind of nervous, dude. The weird thing is, there's only two phones to find. And I guess it, it automatically sets it where the first phone is going to be... Alright, let's see. So we stopped here. Uh, so I have to, uh, I have to go east... South, east, east is the most direct route, so I'm going to try that. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Hurry it up, dude. I'd like to get away from this. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew he had the transmitter. 
Of course I knew it. I've played through this game before. We're just trying to get to all of the influence things, see everybody else's objectives. So we got that going. Everything all right, John? You said transmitter. No, I didn't. Understand me? Now let's get back to Mr. Grizz. Hopefully he's all right. Sure, dude, sure. Everything's here, young blood. What a relief. My friends will be here soon. You should go, okay? Here's the dough I promised. I mean, thanks for paying. I don't want to make any promises to him since I'm basically getting ready to to leave. All right, moving along to the border. Nine miles to go. This is where we go ahead and start crossing to get to the waterfall. And with this much money, I should be able to to get some good I can probably just go ahead and pay for the passage entry. Hopefully that gets me through. Oh, or maybe I could uh maybe I could bribe a truck driver. Depending on my energy. Hmm. All right. Now for the leisurely stroll along the side of the road. And I still have a credit card too. Heading on across. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. There's the waterfall. Uh, hmm, I wonder if there's a, nope, nothing there. I was just I just wanted to see if there was a cassette tape there for me to collect since that does seem to be kind of a completion collectible for the game. Oh, nope, not this way. I got to go around the other way. Other side of the waterfall. As the weeks drag on. There's kind of a little bit of play on both sides. Just trying to be mostly pragmatic and get myself across. If that means helping out some people to get some money and get me where I need to go, so be it. That is, that is going to be our objective this time around. Spray paint, revolt, vote, or trust. Yeah, we're going to trust ourselves. Oh, nice. Gonna be keeping my money though, because this money is mine. All right, resting there only got me one energy, but hopefully that one energy will be enough. Little bit of last minute rest while we head on up and the question is do I want to pay for pa I, I got a whole lot of money so I could pay for passage or I could maybe bribe my way into a truck or I, I mean I could also just break into a truck but that might be more risky than having somebody purposely let me in so that things don't look broken or shady
I should have plenty of energy to get through that kind of thing. All right, here we go. We made it to the border. There's the caravan of trucks. Hmm. All right, just to max out, let me go ahead and grab myself a drink. I'll go ahead and pay up. Force myself into a truck there. Pick lock. Oh, there's a person over here. Hey, dude. Uh, you help me get across? I got money. <laughs> Again? Okay, so this isn't his first rodeo. Yeah, like, I will pay you to let me in. I got the cash, and I got I got energy to, to make sure I stay snuck in there. So we can get across. We are going to get... We are going to get across the border. This way, we also don't have the, the door broken. And hop behind the box. All right, here we go. Okay. Stay still. Don't move. Don't move. All right. Next checkpoint, here we go. <laughs> what do you think it's for? Okay, go on, girl. Oh, 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 okay. Here you go, dog. Have some food. And I am getting under here. Okay, here we go. I got the energy. Breathing scanner. Hold ZR. There we go. One energy. Two energy. All right, sweet. Seriously, they only check for 12 seconds. I could hold my breath for 12 seconds. Here, watch. See, that's easily 12 seconds. Freedom. Nothing is more important. Booyah! Made it through. That, that first one was pretty easy. Then again, once you kind of know what you're doing and you're not like second guessing it and you have like plenty of extra cash and resources, it's not too hard getting through. And hopefully we are influencing election day to be a very screw it and get me out of here attitude without getting too violent in the revolt have only just begun.
made it through. Okay. So that has been our first run. Uh, we did make it across the checkpoint, so that's one teen escaped. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get all of our teens across, no matter what it takes to get there. Uh, it may mean a whole lot of screw everybody else, considering I am out for number one on this run every time. So until next time, guys, we're going to be picking up this adventure in the next episode with a new fresh-faced teen.